all you guys should know who this teen in the picture is. This gentleman right here has grown to create a revolution on his own, single-handedly changing the game of bodybuilding forever. Mr. Dorian Yates, even when he was a teenager, he went to jail and in that jail he was the strongest man lifting the heaviest weights in the bench press. He has grown to become a bodybuilder and not any bodybuilder. He has changed the game forever with this video right here in 93. We'll come back to it, but first of all, he bursted into the scene when he placed second next to Momo Ben Aziza in the night of champion. He was definitely amazing already, very young, 27 years old. Sure enough, he came back next year and he won that trophy. He was the night of champion title holder, but guess what? He did not stop right there. He went on to challenge the reigning eight times in a row, Mr. Olympia, Mr. Lee Haney. And trust me, even the commentator in that Olympia was saying that Dorian is like Lee Haney with better legs. Guess what? Lee Haney retired. The next year, the challenge was between Vince Taylor versus Yates. And guess what? Yates won. It was a close call though versus Levroni. You know, he could have stayed like that. He was already good. But guess what? He had to change the game. It was not enough. This shape was good. But Lavroni, as I said, was so close. He had to create a revolution. And sure enough, he did so. Good Lord, did he shock us in 1993. This video surfaced. Few pictures posted in Flex Magazine. Few weeks merely before the Olympia. Everybody of us were shocked. We had no internet. We saw this. What is this? We have we never seen such a crazy mass development while retaining this condition. He was hard, 269 pounds. Never have we seen such craziness. Everybody was speculating. What the hell is he doing? Is it growth hormone? Is it a new drug out from the UK? Nobody knew what he has done. He spoke about it a little bit later. A few years later, he said, no, I was using the regular stuff. Look at the transformation from 90, 91, 92 and then good lord 93 he became the true mass monster we did not know will the judges accept this never have we seen such craziness he had to create a revolution and guess what every fan was amazed because bodybuilding fans love crazy freakiness they accepted him this was a new thing flex wheeler had no chance the judges has chosen the new trend. Lee Haney was there and he said, I could no longer compete with these monsters in 93. And he went on in a winning spree. Even though he damaged his biceps in 94, he still won that Olympia 94, 95, 96, and even 97. And guess what? At that time, Ronnie Coleman was still small. Dorian was the very first creator, the initiator, the matrix of craziness. He created this video called Blood and Guts, where you can see his partner Korean Yates. Push that! Push it! Yates! Yes, you can! Very famous video. The very first hardcore training video of bodybuilding. He was a wrecking machine in the gym with those rows. He is the reason why Ronnie became like this. The freaky monsters took over the scene and nobody was stopping them. Dorian Yates was still growing in 97. His back was getting wilder, amazingly bigger. Unfortunately, he had to stop because of injuries, but he is still the shadow. Right now, he is a prosperous entrepreneur. He has his nutrition brand. He's doing some interviews, consuming some DMT and contacting some otherworldly beings. You can see him here in the London Reel very interactive and interesting video i highly recommend it and guess what while in his 40s baby please still diced to the socks give it up for mr the shadow dorian yates love him or hate him he created a revolution nobody spread these wings like he does until today when somebody has a front last spread that is impressive they call him, bro, you are Dorianesque, meaning you are like Dorian. Nobody since Adam and Eve knows how to spread these wings like Mr. The Shadow. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video. Salute me on a daily, baby, please, on a daily basis, that is.